Optimus and uh, I think Tesla vehicles will play a big role on the moon and Mars. And uh, my question is about obviously market expansion, uh, but not only South America, Brazil, uh, but also into Mars, like with the upcoming rendezvous of Mars and Earth. Uh, what's going to be in the payload, you know, what, what are we going to send there? Well, uh, Optimus is going to play a, a big role. Well, Optimus and uh, I think Tesla vehicles will play a big role on the moon and Mars. So for a moon base and a Mars, ba a Mars city, um, uh, Tesla vehicles and, and Optimus robots um, are a natural, natural fit for building um, and operating a moon base and a Mars city. Cybertruck cyber also? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's Cybertruck. Um, you will need to drive around in a pressurized vehicle if there's a, you know, a person inside. Oh, uh, the total number of vehicles will decrease. Um, you know, the, the, the sort of vehicle fleet out there is about two billion cars. But two, two billion, if you add up all cars and trucks that are not at a scrapyard, I think it's around two billion. Um, but the, that, that number would decrease uh, with autonomous vehicles. So the total fleet size would drop. Um, I actually think uh, miles driven will increase because it is now much less painful to travel somewhere. Um, so if, if, if somebody's thinking about traveling across a busy city, then they'll take into account, well, how much pain do I have to deal with? If I have to go through two hours of traffic, I probably won't, uh, won't do it. But if you're just, say, sitting in a, a cyber cab watching a movie or doing some work, then it's just like sitting in a little lounge. And, and I, I, so I think you'll see um, probably a significant increase in total miles driven, uh, but at the same time, a decrease in the total uh, active fleet of vehicles.